Hello there. Hope you're well. Day 20 of the transfer window and big developments on the man who will not leave this sky pad, Manchester City striker Carlos Tevez. Sky sources have told me Tevez's advisor, Kia Jurabchin, is in Paris right now meeting with Paris Saint-Germain officials. This, I guess, is where PSG's interest becomes very real and you get the impression City manager Roberto Mancini would like a deal struck quickly for the player. Now, Mancini has ruled out Tevez ever playing for the club again. Last week, Mancini's assistant, David Platt, indicated the door may not be closed on Tevez. This, though, is what Mancini had to say. When we sp spoke to David last week, he suggested that maybe if things didn't happen, that Carlos could come back. Could, could, could that happen, Roberto? This is impossible. It won't happen at all. He can't play for Manchester City again. No, it's, this is impossible. Carlos uh, doesn't want to stay. We had a problem. I think that for him, it's important now to restart to play because he's a football player. He's, uh, now it's three, three months that he didn't play. It's not good for him. Those are the thoughts of Roberto Mancini on Carlos Tevez. But one City player who is close to a move is the defender Nedim Manua. We told you yesterday a fee in the region of £3 million had been agreed with Queen's Park Rangers. Mancini says Anua's departure has not been completed yet, but confirmed it will happen. It may not happen before Saturday's matches, though, as QPR chairman Tony Fernandez revealed on Twitter. This is what Tony Fernandez had to say. Not sure we can get new players in time for Wigan. But next week, looking more promising. Tremendous hard work for the team. Very proud. Keep positive. And you can get all the latest on QPR as it happens. We'll hopefully be getting Philip Beard, the chief executive, on the phone in this hour. Now, news to bring you from Manchester United. And interesting news, wasn't there, over the weekend with regard to Dimitar Berbatov. What is the latest with him? Well... Over the weekend, he was flying to Germany, wasn't he, for talks with Bayer Leverkusen, Bayern Munich and Angie makic -Kala. Well, his agent has spoken out in the past 24 hours. He said, the only thing I can say at this moment is the eventual transfer of Berbatov to another club is not on the agenda. Now, do we read anything into at this moment? Because there is still time for that to change. What about Berbatov's club mate? Ravel Morrison. Well, remember, Sky sources have told us Roma will bid around half a million pounds for him, a bid which we understand will be accepted by United. However, the mention of Morrison in Sir Alex Ferguson's news conference was met with, shall we say, a frosty response. Last week, you answered about Ravel Morrison. He... I have nothing to say about that. I'm not even going to get into that. Nothing to do with the game against Arsenal. On now to the latest on Chelsea striker Didier Drogba. Now, I've been told that the player has rejected the chance to join Fenerbahce. The offer on the table from the Turkish club was for two years with an option of a further year. Now, I've been told Drogba sees his next contract as the most important of his career and he will not be rushed. He wants to do what's best for him and his family. And he's quoted in a French magazine saying he will stay at Chelsea until the summer. News to bring you from Norwich City and their pursuit of the Leeds United captain, Johnny Housen. The move to Carrow Road is close. Norwich manager Paul Lambert has been speaking about the progress of the deal. This is what Lambert had to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's nearly, it's nearly there. So um, it's just um, Johnny doing the medical, but as I said before, I'm never, I'm never sure until it's, it's done. Plenty happening in this window, just 11 days, 6 hours and 45 minutes to go.